Hey, this is Luke Simons with Saw Strong. In this video, we're gonna cover how to get back up in the kayak after flipping over. Uh, we recently published a, uh, an article uh, with 11 tips on kayak fishing, and this was the most common question that came up. Uh, we never did address it, and uh, I've never personally flipped over in a kayak, but I'm, I'm about to pretty soon for this video. But I've done some research on different ways to get back up into it. And uh, what I've done is I selected kind of like a worst case scenario where this, this kayak, it's a very narrow kayak. It's, it's under 30 inches wide, which is more narrow than most. Uh, the reason why we got this one, I love it personally, is because it, it goes through the water. It's like a dark, you can go long distances, but, uh, but it's not very stable. So I chose an unstable kayak. Uh, also, another uh, bad thing that I'm doing that I don't recommend is to not have a life jacket on. Because having the life jacket on will just be... Uh, more buoyancy which will help you just get back up into it more easily so i'm just going to kind of give like a worst case scenario and uh and then again i'll just cover the tips and what i've found is that the best way it's just a, a series of three steps and you don't go to the next step until the first one is completed so uh, the first step is uh, of course assuming that it's the kayak is back upright is to just get yourself up onto the kayak so that your belly button is right here in the middle of it so step number one get your belly button in the middle of the kayak and don't do anything else until you're stable as soon as you're stable, at that point you can then uh, just do like a twist, like get your butt basically. So twist over, get your butt in this section. And as soon as you're stable with that, then move your feet back into place. Uh, and then obviously once you're there, you're, you're back in business. And if you try to do it too fast, that's what most people try to mess with. Most people fail and they'll, they'll try to do it too fast and they'll end up going over the other side and eventually get too worn out. And some, some people have heard, uh, can't even get back into it. So um, biggest thing is just not panic. Um, you know, the, the kayak floats, assuming you have one of these sit on top kayaks, uh, it will float. So worst case, just hold on to it and, uh, and wait for help. But again, if you follow these three simple steps and just don't panic, you should be okay. And at the very end, we'll show a, a, just a really cool way to use some extra gear that you might have in case you are having trouble, uh, just to help you uh, further propel yourself in on here and have just more stability. Go ahead and do it. All the way over. So first step is just get your gear. Just just get whatever gear you need. All I have, fortunately, is not much here. It's have my my hat, my paddle, and the kayak. Um, assuming it's flipped over like this, I, I hear water going into it right now. So want to flip it back over as soon as possible. Get the paddle somewhere where you know it is, where it's safe. And then what you do is just drop, climb over it and pull it, and just pull it back over. So now you have your kayak. It's stable. It's not taking on any water. You can take your time. Again, just don't panic. It's not gonna sink. Um, where water was coming in was right here under this hatch. So we did take on a little bit of water, but it's, it's not much. And again, as far as getting back up, um, good again, just keep, keep your paddle under control. And in this case, we're gonna put it under this little bungee cord. So now I don't have to worry about, don't have to worry about that paddle going anywhere. So again, step number one, is to just lunge forward, get my belly button right up in the section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one hand, one hand on this uh, on this, this little tool here. Other hand, I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna get my feet up close to the, the surface, back behind. Let me kick the paddle away, cause I'm kicking it. All right, let me, let me actually pull away from the boat. All right. So again, we've got paddle out of the way. We've got one hand on this near side. Other hand on the far side, I'm gonna get my belly button right here, just with a quick, a quick kick. And at the same time, I'm gonna pull myself up with both hands. So one, two, three. All right. All right so again, wait till we're stable. If we're stable here, we're good. Now it's a matter of flipping over and getting the butt. That's the hard part. There, getting your butt right there in the section. And again, don't try to do anything else. Don't try to get fancy. Take your time, got our paddle here. Our kayak isn't taking on any more water. And now at this point, it's just simple as simple as just putting your feet in. So now we're in here, we're stable. We got our paddle that was in place. And now we can just go on our way and just have nothing, nothing but a little bit of water on us. All right, we just got back in the kayak uh, without any extra help from other items. Uh, but if we were having trouble, uh, just a simple item like a cooler could really be helpful if used properly. And, uh, what I'll be doing is this cooler. Obviously, it floats. It has this uh, this ring on here, and uh, one of the biggest one of the biggest hurdles is just propelling the body up. So what I could do is I could put my foot in this uh, in this part of the cooler, 
and use that as just an extra extra force to help me get up out of the water. So let me go ahead and get my, my paddle up under control again. So now I'm going to have really three ways to propel myself up. I'm going to have both hands up on the kayak and I'm going to have my foot in the cooler. And really with the foot in the cooler I can actually actually worked out so way better than I planned. So with just putting the, my foot in the cooler and pushing it down, it literally just threw me all the way up out of the water. So uh, if, you are, if you are going fishing in a kayak, I would, rec would definitely recommend having a cooler like this. Keep your uh, drinks cold and uh, could save you if you are in trouble. All right, well that's the tip. Again, it's, uh, it's really not that difficult getting back in a kayak. It just takes just thinking, just staying calm taking advantage of items you might have on you like this cooler uh, was it, that worked out way better than I thought it would that's my first time trying it and it literally just shot me right up in there I didn't even have to go through step number one two three I basically did step number one and two all at once and it was much less effort so if you are going kayaking I recommend grabbing a cooler like this uh, you can keep your drinks of course your drinks cold sandwiches cold and, uh, and if you do get into trouble it's just a really good flotation tool that you can use again if if it actually comes up to that case i've never personally had to use anything like this but it is nice to know that it is possible and uh, i certainly learned something today so hope you enjoy the video if you have any questions leave a comment down below otherwise hope to see you again soon there's something about the water that'll give you peace all by yourself or with your family live so strong and wear the line today